Hello everyone and welcome back to Untamed Life of a Cougar and let's grab this carcass and carry it with us because currently we are trying to sneak our way past some dangers and see if we can find a way up. Now it is finally morning I believe. I think we should be able to see if we can actually find... You guys are not following. There we go. We should be able to see if we can actually find a way up. I think... We might have missed it, actually. We might have to keep going, but we may have missed it, and we're gonna have to see which. <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep going, but I don't know. We might have to go back, and uh, we'll just see. Because I think this is a drop. I think over here... Oh my goodness, they're so slow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there is a fox. Alright. Um, oh, he's running. Okay. We're gonna keep it moving. I'm actually gonna drop this, and I'm gonna let them stop, and we'll let them eat, and then I'll try to deal with that fox while he's here. And, okay, I guess they're not gonna eat, so we may as well eat. Let's have them keep following. And where would the... Okay, wait a sec. Did we miss? No, we didn't. So, I don't know what that big red splot is. Um, that worries me slightly. But I think if we can go around... So where did we go up? We went up to this plateau. This was actually maybe not where we were supposed to be. We may have been supposed to go the other way. So we're going to go this way and see if we can make it... Um, see if we can make it here. Now I really hope that even if it is a drop, the kittens should follow us, right? I'm kind of tempted to send them down first, like to, to carry them to the edge and then kind of push them over, even though that sounds terrible because I'm a little bit worried they're not going to follow us. Um, but maybe this won't actually be a drop. Maybe it'll kind of just ease down and that's ideally what we like to see. I'm actually going to zoom out in here, and I think it is just a, a kind of a slope a little bit. It doesn't look like it's a steep drop, because over here, if we look, yeah, that's where we need to go. Okay, so this is good to see. Is that a bear down there? I don't know what that is. That might just be a plant. So this is where we need to be. We need to go up this slope here. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay. You guys are gonna follow. They're not actually gonna go down the slope, but that's okay because um, uh, there's a little bit of a, a different, or there's a little bit of an easier slope there. Okay, so this. So now we need to go up this way. We might have to go a little further over. What is that big red spot? I'm not actually sure what that is, and I think it might be a graphical glitch, so we're gonna hope it's not something important. Cause if it is, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> now, I think thing. Is it over there that we need to go? That is, oh boy, there is a, um, there is actually a killer male that is right behind us too, or, well, the one that's been chasing us this whole time is right behind us. And, uh, yeah, so we should have just come this way to begin with. That's the mistake I always, he's coming, he's right there. That is the mistake that I always make. I'm putting it in target mode too so I can see what I'm doing. But that's the mistake I always make when I try to get to this den, is I always end up going the wrong way. Okay, he's gonna keep going. Let's take it out of targeting mode. These guys are fine, but they do need some food. So, we're gonna keep it going. There doesn't really seem to be much over here, though, is the problem. Oh, and it looks like we moved just out of reach. I don't know what that big circle is. I think it's just a graphical glitch. But, oh, do we need to stop down there? Okay, oh, no. Ooh. That's... The number of predators here is kind of frightening. Um, there is a deer, though, and that's what we're going to try and catch now. And, okay, we just got to keep focused on it. And it should not see us. I hope we don't hit this rock. We are going over the... Oh, it, oh, it saw us because we had to stop crouching. Darn it. Oh, oh, it's right there. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's a cliff. It can't go... It has nowhere to run. Okay, wait a minute. All right, are we able to do this? Are we able to take it down? Targeting mode? Yes, we can. Okay, there we go. Let's grab it. Let's actually grab it. There we go. Switching back out of targeting mode because you can get a better view of the area. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, it was a fox, and we're gonna drop this and have everybody stop to eat. We're gonna stop to eat as well. 
Alright, so there is a fox. Everybody follow. No, I don't want to pick up Echo. I want to pick up the food. There we go. No, Galaxy, no. <laughs> this is the problem I always have in Wolf Quest. Oh my goodness. But uh, apparently it returns for Untamed. I... Oh, that's trouble. So you see up on that hill there? That is a hunting dog. That means there's a hunter somewhere nearby. That means a lot of these are gonna be hunters. Okay, I'm gonna drop the food. Oh, you yeah, you, I can hear him. Okay, what's going on? Oh, goodness. I don't- okay, it's a fox. Oh, this is why I'm hissing. Okay, we've got to keep everybody close. There's a deer running this way. Oh, there goes the- oh, there's the hunter itself. Okay, we've got to avoid, 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 avoid. Take this guy down. Okay, kittens, 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 please don't take my kittens. No, no, okay, we got to get back to them. Okay, oh, they're all converging on us. Oh, no. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a really bad mistake. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to be in targeting mode because I can't see what I'm doing. Do not hurt my kittens, please. Okay, we gotta get out of the way. We gotta get up to this guy and take him down before he keeps- Oh, I'm falling. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're not attacking- Oh, I'm, I'm taking damage. I am taking damage. Okay, we've gotta avoid. We gotta watch out for the fox. There's so much right here. Okay, get off the fox. No, 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 no. Go back to the kittens. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, here is the hunter right here. Oh, he, I, he came down. That was his mistake. Is he came down to, um, okay, we got the fox. Oh my gosh. He came down and that was his mistake. Oh my goodness. We did take a lot of damage there. And there is something down below, but I don't think it's gonna hurt us. I don't, it is gonna hurt us. Oh, it, it's another hunting dog. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can take this guy down. All right, let's... I'm gonna grab that carcass if I can. We can't. Okay, so we're just going to stop and eat. Oh, we can grab it. Okay. So we'll bring this back up here. Oh, it looks like they can eat while uh, we're holding it apparently still, so that's good to know. There is a fox up there. Okay, so we need to keep moving. Oh my goodness, that was stressful. Oh my goodness, I didn't I didn't realize it was gonna be that intense. We actually did almost die too. I saw our um our health bar was going down. Uh, that's what the danger with hunters is. Hunters on easy mode are one of the few things that can still kill you. Uh, most of the other animals won't do that much damage to you, but hunters are still very much a threat, even in easy mode. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a moment. I'm gonna crouch because we've got a fox creeping up on us and we need to take him down. All right, come on. He's coming. Oh, there he is. I see him. And get him. We got him. Okay. We're going to bring this carcass with us because it's a little got a little bit more... Um, oh, let's keep, keep him following there. <laughs> it's got a little bit more... Um, a little bit more more left on it. Okay, what? There's some... Whatever is up there is still on the ledge above. The killer male is on its way, but there's also that big red dot, and I'm not entirely sure what that is. I don't actually see it on the mini-map, so I think we're going to find out, well, we may not actually find out, but I'm hoping it's just some sort of visual glitch because I don't really want to know what a tremendous red dot on the map would mean. So we're actually nearing the point where we have kind of a, I guess would you call it a switchback? You have to uh, turn a, at a 180 degree angle to get up, and it's really hard to see that at night, and so that's going to be a little bit tricky to find. Hopefully we can avoid going all the way around, but I think we are making our way up, so that's a very good thing. Uh, the last thing we want to do now is actually fall. <laughs> so let's stop. We'll have everybody eat. In fact, I don't even need to put this down. I can just... Okay. Oh, there. There's, there they go. There they're actually going to eat. And we can... Oh, rival female just spawned too. There's another one somewhere. Oh, but we got the killer male hot on our trail here. So let's keep moving, but we got to keep our eye out on him. But it looks like there is another rival. Again, nowhere close to us, so we should be fine. At least for the time being. And the killer male is still behind us. He's actually getting pretty close, so I think I'm going to drop this, have the kitten stay, 
and prepare to fight. No, no, no. I'm going to actually keep them following me. I'm going to go back into targeting mode so that we can see him more easily. And we should be able to take him down pretty easily. Yeah, he's barely even doing it. He's not really even damaging us at this point. Um, and that is because we're playing on easy mode. But uh, kind of my... The way I'm going to... The way I'm going to decide when it's time... Oops. No, I want everybody to follow still. The way I'm going to decide when it's time to start... Um, kind of to start playing on a harder difficulty is going to be when we make it with all three kittens. Now, we didn't do that uh, this last time, so we're still playing on easy this time, but once we make it with all three kittens, then we'll move to medium and so on and so forth. Uh, we'll start increasing the difficulty the better we get at the game, but uh, it's a very hard game, honestly. It may not look it, but it really is, and um, it's a pretty complex, and there's a lot of things you need to keep track. Uh, that rival female isn't that close, no. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of things you have to keep track of, a lot of things that can end up being a potential danger. It's probably harder, well, it's harder in some ways than Wolf Quest. You have to be more alert as you're moving. It's basically like being on the journey in Wolf Quest constantly. You're always moving around, and that does make things more difficult. So, with that in mind... Um, it's more difficult than Wolf Quest in some ways, but it's also just different in some ways. And so, <laughs> it's definitely not an easy game, and there's definitely a lot to learn and a lot of things you have to worry about. And I- oh good, the killer male actually ran right over the edge there. I was worried he was going to end up ahead of us, and we just walked straight into him again. And of course, that's really not what you want to see. Oh! Oh, I should have let them eat. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, keep following you guys. We'll get food soon. I always forget you need to let them eat first. Otherwise, you'll finish the carcass, whereas they're not likely to. So, yeah, that's, uh, I always forget that. Alright, this is where we start having switchbacks. So we've actually got to go up here, I think. We've got to go up this slope. I'm pretty sure, at least, this is what we're supposed to be doing. And it looks like there is a predator up here. We're also in the middle of that red dot, so I'm gonna assume it's nothing bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the path up that we're on. And I'm gonna go ahead a little bit because I do see some sort of predator up here. It's an eagle, I can see it flying. Do you guys see it up there at the uh, right at the side of the mountain? So I'm gonna go ahead a little bit, I think. I'll keep these guys kinda close, but I also want to, um, I also want to stay a little bit ahead of them so it doesn't try and attack them. I'm going to put targeting mode on as well because you really need that to be able to take on the eagles because it'll automatically latch onto them and you'll be able to fight. So we're going to keep heading up this way. The kittens are still following. The killer male is quite far away, so that's good. And we're almost to the point where we're going to have to deal with the eagle. I think he's behind those trees. The hard part about the eagles is that they're really hard to actually see. Oh no, there he is. Yep, he was behind the trees. They're hard to see a lot of the time unless the angle is just right. So he's going to start coming towards us pretty soon here. I'm leaving. Yep, here he comes. I'm leaving the kittens a little ways behind. Okay, here we go. Because I don't want, uh, I don't want this eagle coming after them. So here we go, perfect timing. Let's go ahead and grab the eagle, and I'm going to, once they get up here, have them stop so that they can eat. There we go. They can all eat while we're still holding the carcass, which is kind of nice. Um, which I guess makes, wait a minute. You should not be, oh, hi, how are you here? You should not be here. Hello? I don't know how you got up here. You're not supposed to be here. Get away. No, get out of here. Get away. I want nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Run right off that cliff. Is he gonna? He's not gonna. He is gonna. I don't know what he's gonna. <laughs> Alright. Um, we're actually gonna eat as well because we're getting a little bit hungry. Oh, he's still running around on this cliff. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on. We're just gonna keep it moving and hope he doesn't uh, mess around again because that was not fun. That was not a good thing, and I hope he ran off the cliff, actually, but I don't think he did. So, let's have these guys continue to follow. We're actually almost there. The worst part of this journey is behind us. Normally, from this point on, it's okay to get up there. So, we just have to be a little bit wary because we have a little bit further to go. Um, 
but it's really not that bad. Um, and uh, pretty much at this point, the worst is behind us. Now, the one thing I don't know is, I think the kitten's growing is based off of actual time and not based off of how many times you move dens. So hopefully the fact that it takes us so long to get here isn't going to mean that it's going to be a lot slower for them to grow up. I'm also really trying not to die because basically what we consider the penalty for dying in this is that you lose your progress up until the last save. So if you die at the end of the episode, oh well, tough luck, you gotta start over <laughs> uh, from the, the beginning of that episode at least. And so I'm very much trying my best not to die. Not that I am not as careful with that in other games. I generally make a habit of trying not to die. But in this one especially, dying slows things down a lot and it makes things harder. Because oftentimes when you die, it means you were stuck in a dangerous part of a journey or whatnot. And so, yeah, dying is not a good thing. We definitely want to avoid that as much as, uh, as possible here. So let's stop again. We'll let you guys eat. They've all eaten. We can eat. And that did finish off the carcass, so I'm actually going to try and take down this deer real fast. And then we'll make our way to the den we need to reach here. Where is the killer male? He's far enough behind us that I do have time to stop and hunt this deer. So we just need to get a little bit closer. Alright, steady. And we just gotta get closer and now all right there we go oh we got it we got a one shot too that's great okay let's go ahead and grab the deer and we're gonna head all the way up so we've got to uh actually just follow this little area here and then i think we have another eagle up here um but we just need to get these guys back to the den and generally the dens are fairly safe when it comes to predators there's usually not too much that spawns right around there, but most of the predators in this do double as food, too, if you manage to take them out, so that's kind of a good thing. Um, let's go ahead and we'll reach the den. You know, you almost could just kind of start traveling ahead of time before the, um, before the killer male would show up. Is that an eagle or that's an eagle? That is actually an eagle. Okay. So, I see him heading this way. I don't think he's going to be limited by the terrain either. I think he can literally just fly right over it. So, we need to be... Oh, are you growling again? So, your cougar growls, I'm starting to learn, when there's danger nearby. So, if we hear Kira growling, we need to be attuned to that because she's trying to give us a warning that, hey, something's coming. <laughs> so, as long as we watch our mini-map too, though, we're generally pretty okay. That killer male is getting close, so hopefully we can reach the den before he reaches us. Otherwise, we are going to have to fight him one more time. These guys are getting hungry. They're at the point where I normally would feed them, but I'd like to just see if we can get to this den real fast before that uh, killer male attacks us again. And if we can, then I'll just feed them when we get there. They're not going to starve in the meantime, and even if they were to get to a dangerously low level of food, we have food on us, and so we could stop and feed them. Alright, oh, he is right behind us. Or no, he's ahead of us? No, he is behind us. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep backing up. We've got to watch. Oh, he, no, he's still coming up the, he's still coming up the switch. Okay, we, we can, we can, we can keep going for a little bit here. And uh, still hopefully try and make it, although I don't think we're going to. I think... Yeah, I think we will keep... No, he's he's here. He's here. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll fight him. You get out of here. This will be the last time we have to fight him for sure, I think. And yeah, let's just float in the air and attack him. That's totally how cougars fight in real life. There's nothing whatsoever unrealistic about that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not what they do. Um... But we just need to get to the den. He's run right towards our den. He's trying to cut us off. But I think... Um, actually, the den is up on that little uh, that little ledge there, isn't it? Okay, let's stop and feed these guys. And I keep forgetting I don't actually need to drop the carcass. Even we can just eat from it. Okay, now that everybody's eaten, we can keep going. Um, but I think, yeah, we're almost there. We just gotta keep heading this way. I can't quite see the den on the mini-map yet. But, um, or I mean I can see it, but it's still in kind of a jumble of icons. It hasn't moved away from the edge. So, oh, there we go. Oh, there's the den. It's right there. So we should be able to get there before the killer male reaches us again. And, uh, we should be good. It has been quite a journey to get here. 
but thankfully we've made it. This is the most difficult den to reach in the entire game from what I've seen. So, yeah, it's definitely something where um, it is a lot of effort to get here. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty rewarding once you are up here. It's actually not a bad den once you actually get here. But, um, okay, and the killer male is gone. We've made it. So let's go ahead and we'll leave the kittens inside. We'll drop this for them so they have something to eat. And then we just need to focus on feeding them and taking care of them. And probably by the end of next episode, another killer male will show up and we'll have to do this all again. So for now, though, I'm going to go ahead and let them stay here. And we'll go ahead and wrap up with this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.